Ladies and gentlemen, here is Linda Hamilton. You get very casual when you're in a movie that uh, is making probably, as we're sitting here this morning, six million dollars. <laughs> just in the minute that we've been talking. Yeah, actually, after a while, uh, you reach that point where you just sort of, you've had enough, you've said enough. You know, I actually passed a, a theater the other day and went, oh, T2 is still out? It's still yeah, out. That's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, oh. after a while, you do. Uh, it was number one in the box office yet again yeah. and it seems like uh what is beyond legs what does a movie have when it keeps being number one it has beyond muscles beyond legs it has muscles that's a good word and, and, al word. and also for you uh do we call is it t1 what do you call terminator terminator terminator, terminator. Uh, i can't believe that was six years ago yeah it was, Much six, more it was six years ago yeah seven that's mm -hmm. true the, the vanilla cassette now is the hottest thing of terminator right. but also what's really nice for you is that terminator was kind of arnold's movie you know, this is your movie as well. Yeah. Of course, if Arnold were here, I don't know if we'd say that. <laughs> right. But... Well, I count Terminator as my movie, too. I mean, we have to, I, when we do the job, you know, I just, uh, it was my baby, too, but a long time ago. Well, this was... is my baby and then some. And you were, you were wonderful in Terminator in the first one, but what happened was that was really, Arnold was kind of emerging at that time. So right. as, as terrific as you were, he you somewhat overlooked, sure. He eclipsed everything up. Yeah. yeah. This time, boy, you made sure that didn't <laughs> yeah. happen. That's right. First of all, you were in better shape than Arnold for this movie. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually say that, but... But, no, no, uh, people uh, walked away quite impressed with, uh, with how you looked at you. Uh, you trained for the role because you were a different person. The character had Absolutely. evolved. Absolutely. She transformed into a warrior and had to do it. Now, when you knew that you had to look a certain way for the role, I mean, physically, had to have those muscles, had mm -hmm. to be, did you say, I don't know if I can, I mean, because I'm assuming you had never done that scary. kind of training No, before. never done anything like that. I mean, I, you know, I had done a few months at a time, right. and, you know, commit to it and then get bored, tired. Uh, but having just had a baby, too, it was, uh, there was a lot more to, to, a lot farther to go with the body. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was like a double was motivation. A double motivation. Yeah. Yeah, get back in shape and the movie. Yeah. We're looking at it here. Now, I must tell you, Linda, this morning when I, when I parked my car, we have valet here on, on the lot. One of the ABC valets came in and said, Linda Hamilton on the show this morning? Mm. I said, yeah. I hope she parks her own car. I hope she brings it back here so I can see her. I mean, he was all excited. He really wanted to see you in person. The valets are very, oh, very nonplussed nice. around here. They don't care about anything. But, boy, they wanted to see you. Did you drive your own car this morning? No. Oh, the so valet is I got driven. <laughs> Would you just go say hello to him before you, you know, right now. take a good look at you? <laughs> Careers are very strange. Her driver this morning was Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, very quickly. Now, do you keep... Do you, I, I know it's part of the acting armamentarium to, to build up for this role. So after the Do movie's I keep over, it up? yeah, yes, I, um, not to the degree. I mean, I was doing it two to three hours a day, six mornings a week, throughout filming, and you know, for three months before. Now it's um, eight hours a week. You know, I'm committed to it, but just five mornings instead of six. And maintenance is not doesn't take the time either. You know, you build the body, and you have to really cut it and work hard. And then maintenance doesn't take as much. How's your tummy after the baby? Pretty good. I bet it is. Uh, good. You know, what, what if I had asked that question? <laughs> Well, well so look, I mean, she, she, how's she, your tummy after the baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, those of us who have trouble getting our stomachs into shape yeah. after babies know that uh, you did just fine. Yeah, and stomach just, is very strong. Lots and lots of sit-ups. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Mm -hmm. But you got to do the sit-ups. Yeah, how many, crunches. How many sit-ups? How many crunches? I'll do, you know, 150 forwards and 150 back and oh. twisties and then I, different I kinds the, of twisties. I don't get the back concept. Where's the 150 back? 150 reverses. Legs Which up work on, yeah, work on different parts of the app. Oh, your legs are up in the air? And your legs are up in the air and you come back with your legs very, over your head. Well, this is very good for Tony because periodically Aww. she likes to talk about getting in shape. That's right. <laughs> it's about time again. Yeah, this is, that, that does it for me. I'll be good now for another few months. You're right, um, talking about it. You're, you're doing love letters, which we're going to talk about in a moment, but what else is going on in your, in your life and career? Uh, it's really more or less a time of just sitting with material. I've got stacks of stuff to read and just well, figure out what the next one right? is. Getting the scripts, oh. getting the meetings, talking it up. Now how much to does your son else? make a difference in terms of what projects you choose? Uh, he does. Like where you have to go on location exactly. or that kind of thing? Yeah. Um, you know, I like working at night because that way I can work and not miss my baby. It, this is just making, you know, uh, my career for me. It's just like is it working important? all night long and then coming home and being with the baby. Is it important for you to choose something absolutely 
away from uh, the Terminator genre totally? Uh, yes. Uh, it's the first time ever that I felt really pressured to do something different. You know, I guess you, you get in the limelight and all of a sudden you're aware that your next choice matters, yeah. you know, because everybody's watching. I, I've been saying comedy, 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 so I think I have to stick to my guns here and do something like that. Or a small story or something where I'm not eclipsed by special effects. I mean, not that I was eclipsed in this film, but, you know, there's always a gimmick. It's always, you know... Uh, the Beast or the Terminator or something like that, which doesn't devalue the experience. It just means that I need to do something where it's the acting experience that, that's foremost. Because you do run the risk of, of being cursed by your own success and yes. being thought of only for those kind of yeah. movies. People say, oh, she does that well, let's get her. But, but you, you see, because of Beauty and the Beast, already you don't appear to us that way. See, that was all, a whole different kind yeah, of movie. Yeah, very different. So we just keep hoping to do different things. You ready to see The Beast? He yes. should be. He was the best, right? Now, you guys are doing love letters together. How long has it been since you've actually worked together? It's been, um, it's been two years, almost exactly two years since we left the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, her partner, her former uh, co-star, Beauty and the Beast, directly uh, from the sewers of New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is Ron Perlman. <laughs> Excuse me, just a moment. What's, yeah. What's happening? Just a little oh. a battery pack. What are you going to doing back there? <laughs> just, I'll be through with this in about a week. Every Wait a minute, this is upside uh, down. I, I, I go ahead with the show, folks. Don't worry about me. I must say, standing backstage, I thought I was, it was like, this is your life, Linda Hamilton. And, you know, your third grade teacher is back there. Right? No. And, you know, it's a, an old banker of yours that says, that, you know, he's looking for some, a check that you bounced. But anyway, uh, we won't get into that. Ron came, Ron came in this morning, and he said, I want to hang around the makeup room. I'm most comfortable in the makeup room. You've spent eight million hours right. in the makeup room. Those, are, those people are the salt of the earth. Believe me, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm know. most comfortable there. You have makeup on now? Uh, not nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be happy if we had a few appliances to just kind of glue? I it? actually have them in the glove. You do. <laughs> in case you ask. You know. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you have you seen Terminator 2 yet? Absolutely. What do you think of Linda? I was first online. Oh. Well. Uh, when I saw it, I, I went to the gym, like, straight from the movie theater. Started yeah. working out, you know, just so that I could sort of hold my own in love letters. No, it's, um... Well, she wasn't uh, buff the way she is now the way, when she worked with you, right? Um, Linda is... Buff and cut. Linda, buff and cut, yeah. That's Linda it. is um, a remarkable actress in so much as she... I mean, it's truly the definition of the word. You do whatever it is that you have to do. You become whatever it is that you have to become. Uh, commensurate with the material and um, Beauty and the Beast called for this very soft, feminine, um, no rough edge character. That's Linda on the there left, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and then this character was, 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 you know, hard as nails and, and all edge. Mm -hmm. And uh, the transformation from, you forget about Catherine Chandler when you see but Which is the Sarah closest Conner. to the real Linda, the soft, mellow, or the driven, hard-edged, not quite as hard as the character in Terminator, but... You're going to have to pay me a lot more money oh. <laughs> if you want the answer to that you mean we're, not, we're not paying you enough this morning? <laughs> <laughs> That's really sweet. Can we get a shot of her again? Wait a minute. <laughs> now you can see it. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> She's actually holding me because of me. <laughs> Well, no, but he's huge. Wait a minute. You, you were uh, a comedian when you started your career, right? It's I was? Just, oh, yeah. You yes, you were. That was well, I, th there's, uh, I, I spent a brief sojourn uh, experimenting in that venue. What did and, you say, uh, Ryan? It, it was, uh, you did it for a few, a few I gigs. I did it for a little while yeah. until I, you know... I, uh, <laughs> Catch a falling star. One night I almost got killed, uh, you know, in a very bad neighborhood in New York mm -hmm. by, uh, you know, dealing the wrong way with a heckler. Oh. Yeah, we were sort of like... Uh, like 25 guys all got up at the same time and started for the stage, and that was the end of my, my comedic career. What did you say to that guy uh, that you could repeat at 9 o'clock in the morning? I don't really remember, and I really can't repeat it at 9 o'clock yeah, in the morning, okay. but the very next thing I said was, Taxi! Yeah. Yeah. You know, keep the $15. You can have it. Yeah. That's what I made that night. I believe you said to him, I wish you a combination of lockjaw and seasickness. Remember that? Uh-huh. 
that old standard heckler's line, but obviously the only one who knows it, it wasn't funny <laughs> now. It's well, it funny then. <laughs> obviously in your day, that That's was right. a big one. Back then, that was considered <laughs> What funny. made you consider uh, giving up the brief sojourn that you had into this world of stand-up uh, comedy? Well, there's an old joke, you know, um, John Wayne is doing Shakespeare, and he's doing to be or not to be, and the audience starts to go... And he says, hey, I didn't write this stuff. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the idea of... Uh... <laughs>